Whoa, what an article. Lad Bible, you have gone completely in the wrong direction. What a mess. Huge risk millions face when illegal streaming at home. I thought I'd bring you this article. Um, Lee TV sent it to me. Great YouTuber, make sure you check him out. Regarding this article from Lad Bible, a lot of you probably know Lad Bible. It's a big web company, share a lot of articles, and this is probably one of the biggest scaremongering articles I've seen, and it's completely wrong. It's so dated, it's so old, and we're gonna go through that, and I'm gonna run you all about it. it talks about the risks people have when they're illegally streaming at home. Um, there's not much different in the risk of people legally streaming at home. Very similar, I would explain that to you, but obviously we know how to check our apps and everything like that, and if you need to know more about that, do remember to hit that subscribe to the channel. Check out the channel, we've got 385,000 followers, all regarding streaming, safe streaming, keeping yourself safe, your tech, your devices, your info, your downloads, everything here, all on one channel. So if you're into streaming, um, do remember to hit that subscribe button. Um, if you're a regular watcher, do hit that share button. And any of you, feel free to share this video over to Lab Bible or tag them in it on the socials because their article, we're gonna go through it and then we're gonna have a little laugh, okay? You ready for a laugh? Drop me your thoughts on this underneath as well because I found it hilarious. So first of all, let's before we even read it, let's look at these pictures. Uh, shut down, shut down, shut down. Uh, think pretty much shut down. One that's still running, obviously that will run because it's just a media player, but it's the one highlighted when actually it's just an official media player when it comes down to it on their image. The rest of these, most of these shut down a couple of years ago, okay? Obviously you've got a couple of official ones in there, but even the first thing they are showing you, the image is so dated, is unreal, okay? Unreal. So, millions of people illegally stream content in the UK. Um, I assume that will go worldwide as well but many are completely unaware of the risks associated with it. Although the true number is unknown, so they don't actually know, an estimated 5 million people use pirated streaming services on devices such as illegal KODI boxes, no such thing, don't exist. There's no such thing as a KODI box. Um, that's one of the first things you've probably ever heard when you're into streaming. No such thing, okay? KODI is an app. An app goes onto a box or onto a mobile phone, or onto a PC. You don't use a KODI PC, it's just an app on your PC. This one's even funnier. Chipped, yep, yep, chipped Amazon Fire Sticks. So they get their Fire Sticks and they're chipped. Like we're not talking a chipped Fire Stick, okay? I, I shouldn't even have to explain this to anybody. Okay, chipped Fire Sticks, nothing's chipped. Fire Sticks are open to install any Android app on, same as your mobile phone is, same as anything else, okay? You can install what you want on that device, whether it's official or unofficial, okay? Nothing's chipped. You don't chip a box, you don't chip a fire stick, and you don't chip anything, okay? As well as through illegal websites. So one here, which I think is actually probably a higher risk, for me personally, is illegal websites. Um, mainly because you get all those pop-up ads when you're on illegal websites, pop-ups, pop-unders, everything like that, if you ever use any. But it's tricky to know what's illegal on a website because it might be legal in some countries and illegal in your country, so it's very hard for you to know. Anyway, <clears throat> streaming pirated content is illegal in the UK. It's kind of right. Um, accessing any content which you don't have the rights to is illegal, but the actual part they get you for is downloading. But when you stream, you do download. Okay, so you, when you stream, you download a portion of the film, so that's classed as downloading into your temporary folder which then gets deleted so it's kind of correct but not very well explained with harsh sentences handed out to those found distributing copyrighted content there has been quite a lot of people recently um getting her large fines um jail sentences everything for selling but that's a fair point but illegal streamers are also leaving themselves at risk of identity theft fraud and of downloading viruses and malware on their devices so let's have a think here so Anybody, comment underneath if you've ever had your identity frozen from streaming. Uh, let me know if you've ever been fraud, taken money off you for streaming. Uh, viruses and malware is a possible. Not really viruses as such. You don't really get virus like on your fire sticks or anything like that. But you could get malware apps or more like adware than anything. It'd most likely be adware. We have videos on the channel regarding checking your devices for viruses. So if you do check it out, and if anyone wants a fresh video on this, I can do it in the next few days. But you will find on here, we have one, here we go, Fire Stick Warning vi Virus and Malware. Um, that will work on your mobile phone, um, Android boxes, anything like that if you're concerned. 
But it's just a whopping three million people who illegally stream content were hacked in 2021. Just let's just throw some numbers. That's from Crime Stoppers. Let's just throw out and make up some numbers. And 2.4 million ended up infecting their device with viruses. So 2.4 million got viruses on their device, which don't really exist because you don't really get viruses as such. You get malware and adware, especially if it's on an Android device. Okay. Even more worrying, more than 1 million people have money stolen from them as a result of watching illegal streams. In total, almost 4.8 million illegal streamers experienced virus, fraud, personal data, theft last year. So 4.8 million people, yeah, 4.8 million people experienced virus, fraud and personal data. But, where were we? Estimated 5 million people streamed. So only 200,000 people didn't... Um, experience fraud and viruses and personal data theft that seems a bit of a small percentage there scaremongering and while most people are savvy about the illegalities a survey from intellectual property organization against copyright theft fact released last january found that while 76 percent of people were aware that watching pirated content was illegal 62 percent of people didn't know about the f threat of fraud so all those people didn't know about it although it's happened to them <laughs> While it's good to see that so many people are aware of legality, um, they're more worried about the real risk consumers face. Of course, they, they don't care about that. They want the money to the big companies. Identity theft, fraud and exposure to malware, a bit more better, and the viruses as a result of piracy are all too real. I'd ask anyone who is considering turning to illegal content to think twice about whether it's more it's worth risking giving criminals access to your devices and bank accounts. Okay, you're not giving them access to your bank accounts or your devices. If so, you're your online banking really needs to sort out their defense of their apps. Obviously you can get malware on your device, but you will need some sort of finger pattern and patter. You know, this is my opinion on it guys. So don't feel, you know, there is risks. There's always risks, but there's risks on going to any website. There's risks on watching official streams sometimes. There's risks on going to websites which, you know, there could be any websites out there. Risks for many, many. There's viruses everywhere on the PCs. There's malware everywhere on loads of apps you download just on the Play Store. Um, you'll get some apps which ping up pop-ups all the time, just gaming apps. Okay, gaming apps. It's not much different, but the risks are there, but not like this is telling you, okay? Not like this is telling you. And as we all know, 99% of people who stream will use a VPN anyway, um, which defeats all the facts they're talking about on there, as always. Obviously, there has been recently, this is talking about sellers. They mentioned this in their article as well. Um, guy selling... Um, has to pay back 963,000 um, and he got 88 months in prison and it becomes 168 months now I don't know why they're doing it in months and not years but it's a totally more than 17 years but he's made millions millions selling to pubs he was gonna get caught he was selling to pubs publicly selling to people he was always gonna get caught madness I just thought I wanted to know your thoughts on that article underneath guys simple as that um, some bits are good some bits are right you know there's always a risk there's always a risk. Um, to keep yourself safe from any risk, do remember, if you want a VPN, the link is directly underneath. This is someone we partner with. IP Vanish is there to protect your privacy with the best VPN, okay? Advanced security, high-speed connections. This is what people use in everyday life and in businesses to protect their data. This cuts out anything which could get you in trouble, pretty much. Um, online safety, powerful internet privacy, simplified data protection. Advanced encryption, secure access, online anonymity, and unmeted connections. But like anything, if you had malware on your device, um, or AdMob is still going to do something in the background because they're just earning. No matter how you're connecting or what server you're on, it's still there. But it might not be able to make its connection. Brilliant. That's linked underneath for you. Do give me your thoughts on that article. Remember to hit that subscribe if you're new here. I found it funny. Remember, we only condone official streaming here, legal streaming, but I can love to bring and know your thoughts about that unofficial article well it's an official article from them about unofficial streaming and how crazy it sounds who knows they chucked a few numbers at you i'd like to know your thoughts i've been doc squiffy this is the doc squiffy channel and i'll see you soon